Cover it. Yeah. You cheater. Well, well I guess I'll play. It's oh, not fair. It's been a while. I play this. Anyway, how's everyone doing? Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I get to play my favorite deck that's totally not meta anymore. Still, but okay. still fun. It's meta in your heart. <laughs> It'll. It's number one in my heart forever. Exactly. Deck wise. Sorry, you're shuffling it up a little that's, bit. Uh, it's all good. We have a stack. <laughs> It was about to be Storm against Boomer John, which is like straight out of 2014 or yeah. something like 2012, that. 2012. 13, yeah. yeah. So we what decided maybe we'll get a different deck. A little more interactive. So the Living End deck literally whipped up in. That was pretty good, actually. That was fast. Yeah, that was like, that was like 15 minutes tops. Not even, yeah. Tops. Including the sleeving. Thank you, the West, to help with the sleeving. But, uh, yeah, I just need to ruffle it up a little bit just in case to make sure that everything is. is. I've been playing only Pioneer and whatever else we've been playing on stream. Mm -hmm. But That's right. effectively only Pioneer for since before the pandemic. So it's nice to bust out Old Faithful. Well, I mean, did, did, we, did you put no Legacy last week? We played Legacy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. playing like whatever we end up playing. Yeah, exactly. On on the, like I still have my Canlander and That's whatever, right. but yeah. like actually playing has yeah, only been Pioneer. Yeah. Even me, I'm, I'm, I'm less than that. I've not played. <laughs> Dan Dan? That's about yeah, it. Yeah, you've played I've more played Dan Dan, Dan in competitive, competitive formats. Competitive formats, yeah. All right, hopefully that's shuffled though. All right, gotta be gentle. gentle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gentle. But this deck is spicy. It's spicy. Hope it doesn't. Hope it. The reflections. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little shiny. A little um, yeah, I'm going for Phil it. Phil ruined my week, slash made my week great by. Um, Putting me in contact with someone that may or may not have had four foil future psychoids, which I may or may not now have. Sorry? PJ, PJ50. PJ50. Uh, in case, does anybody recognize that coach? Oh, you're going first. Yeah, I'm going first. Uh, I'm keeping. Ooh. I think I'm keeping. I think this is okay. Do we run this? This might be okay. Do we run this? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna try it. What the hell? Why not? Uh, yeah, botanical sanctum. Go ahead. I will draw. Uh, let's play Verdant Catacombs and pass. Alright, on page two, I'm gonna cycle. Sure. Boop, boop. Uh, drop a turn. It's very it's very fancy. <laughs> it's my baby. I basically put everything into this. Um, Doesn't get the attention it deserves though. Like I just don't get a chance to play modern all that often. So yes. Yes. you're up. No, I don't play modern every. I'm in. I'm at our Oakville location every Tuesday, which happens to be modern night over here. Uh, I will go fetch. What do I want? Uh, let's go. Two maybe. Two maybe. Good old John. Maybe we actually go triumph. Oh yeah, they play those guys. Yeah, well, one of, <laughs> just a one of, just a one of. Like, oh yeah, that's how old I am. I don't. I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, they have. I have, I have updated ripple. with. Well, I don't know if you want to call it updating. There's like two new cards in the whole deck or whatever, but that's like updating your walker. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really not. Uh... All right, let's play a black leaf cliffs. Mm -hmm. And then we will play one of our new babies. And in case anybody recognizes it. Woo! That's a, that's a full card from OG. All right. Oh, man. All right. That is. That is. All right. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Actually, cover it for a second. Can you name all eight types? Uh, <laughs> all eight types? Yeah, yeah. So we got creature. Mm -hmm. Instant, Long Sorcery, mm -hmm. Land, Artifact, mm -hmm. Planeswalker, mm -hmm. Tribal, mm -hmm. and I'm missing an obvious one probably, aren't I? Uh, enchantment. There you go. There you go. There Boom. you go. I don't fail. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nothing gets past this guy, except for when Grand Ghost quarters my land and I don't go get another one. <laughs> I know he's pretty shook about it. <laughs> Can't believe it. He's pretty shook. Poor guy. Graham's a nice guy. Don't hate Graham. I think like we just sometimes when we play we just get so caught up with. Like, we're just we're just cutthroat like, competitors. But we discussed. Yeah. So we discussed, and apparently, according to the new rules. If you see your opponent make no action to resolve your spell, you have to ask them at least if they're going to or not. Interesting. So, so technically, yes, neither him nor I knew. I, I was just like, ah, whatever, I suck. And I just let it go because I'm used to not being able to do takes these backsies. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, yes. Well, you have to at least like inform them. If they, make, if they don't make any action then because they can fail to find or so I'm gonna, whatever uh, but i'm gonna pay two discard yep. look at the top two put one in my hand and the other in the graveyard in the graveyard in the graveyard oh, i guess this would be a new newer card for when you had played this deck before it that is, is that is correct yeah new tech spicy deck tech all right here we go it is, because you'll see why. He has creature, sorcery, land, I think. So that's where we're at land? with the Goyf count. All right, shardless. Agent. Yep, cascade, here, go. here it goes. I'm just going to go hard. Yep. Good times. Trigger? Yeah. Oh, sorry. So this, this, okay, I don't like cascades. Oh, yeah, because it cascades. <laughs> yeah. So this is still on the stack. This goes on the bottom. Yeah. I cast the living end. Yeah. All right, so living end. Each player exiles all creature cards from their graveyard. Yeah, and then sacrifice all creatures they control. Yeah, and then put all exiled creature cards yep. into the battlefield. Yeah, so your Tarmogoyf dies. Yeah, I get these three things back, and then my Shardless Agent results. That's pretty good. So that is the premise of Living End of the Living End deck. In case that uh, anybody does not follow too much modern, this deck, um, all the cards either they all cost three and up. Because that way, when you cascade, yeah, you, you automatically hit, hit you only end. hit living end. Yeah, and they work with cycling, so you get the card your cards in your graveyard. And as Brendan mentioned, the new tech, Waker of Waves, discard it because then you can all, you can get this creature and also, like I did with the curator, another creature in your graveyard. So and I am very dead. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you have a seven seven. I have a seven seven four four three four and two two. That's a lot of stuff. Swamp walk. Yeah. Swap block matters, you can't block this. Uh, I guess we are going to try to live. Uh, this is painful. 7, 11, 15. It's not, and that was what I have in my hand to play. Uh, which ain't going to be getting there. So one card when I was... Uh, I can kind of play around things. Uh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Because, of course, it is what it is. But Draw. We can semi-live. Ish. It's not great, but... I will play the foothills uh, move combat. Uh, sure. Yeah, I guess teaming. Yeah, we're going to try to terminate the waker. Where am I at? 11. Oh, 13, 15, and don't you 15, even think 16, about regenerating it. 16. I'm going to turn it. A lot. Five. Five. Right, 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 right. So I'm going to protect. Uh, Hardcast force. Woo! Yeah. Hard well, I think we just scoop. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. That game is over. So the hand I kept. Um, but I think the card that would have been a little bit weary was against you would have been Thoughtseize. Like for me. Yeah. Uh, Thoughtseize really breaks up because there's only eight Cascade cards. Yep. Here, so you have to be a little I, bit careful. I was really tempted to just like. Uh, just mull till I got a ton of interaction. Yeah. Hand Disruption is very good against this deck. Uh, 
the thing in a way. Because you almost, it's, it's weird, because you play, you can play it as like a combo deck, like you see, like with Living End. Yeah. Um, so with Living End, nothing PR. hits the bin for you either, does it? Or does it hit the bin and then it, it gets exiled and then comes back, right? Yeah, so everything in the it? bin, so when Living End uh, resolves. Yeah, everything in the bin gets exiled. Yeah. First. So. Graveyard hate is good. And then graveyard hate is always good. Yeah, because yeah. you get exiled first, you sacrifice all the creatures. Yeah. And then, and then they the come back. That were so they do hit the back. bin even when you sack the ones over here. Cur well, they, they would always always have it. Then you hit the bin first. Yeah, so right? like if it's on the stack, yeah. graveyard hate, like for example, relic. Well, or whatever, to get rid of whatever's there, whatever's but it won't get rid there. of whatever's on the battlefield. Cause yeah, correct. Yeah, correct, yeah. Correct, correct. Because that's, that's what I was getting at. It would have been Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Limeon is a. I mean, it's a very interesting card. From what I've seen, it's just it's been pretty popular. It's just fun, and they did get so a case in my Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. know we have a lot. So. No, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, now cool. I have to find cards that don't interact. interact with you very yeah. well, which is like lots of cards. Okay, no cards. Okay. Yeah. So again, this this deck is interesting too because of the sideboarding. That's it's like very hard to actually just side things out because a lot of the stuff is just necessary. Good. Yeah, yeah. I guess like these are like not the best ones, but uh, uh, how many? Hmm? Okay, uh, Amanda and I will have one. We'll have one. What's up? Yeah, I'll pizza. Pizza sounds good. Just fixing, uh, fixing this pile as much as I can to play against this deck. Is there like a sideboard wrath or something? Or do you like anything? Graveyard is a very wrath big. is wrath is tricky because the wraths you play are like ee -E and stuff like that, which isn't fantastic against because of the mana because of the mana cost, cost of, of mana cost, yeah. yeah. Be, yeah. Um, no, it's true. The Lena Void is very, very good against graveyard base synergy deck. It is, but this deck has like a ton of other, like, yeah. uh, graveyard hating cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of like a older magic card that like people don't really play. Tormark's script. No, people play. People play that. Tormark's script. But Tormark's script versus relic. I have a few. I picked those. I was fast enough to grab a few cards. Yeah, I couldn't get the full 15. Um, but yeah. There are just like a lot of cards that aren't great against you. That's fair. Um, like, I think a lot of hand destruction would be. You know, yeah, that's obviously the best. But hand destruction. And that is definitely the sideboard strategy. Because I mean, like at certain points where, when there is a lot of hate towards uh, Living End, um, this game two, I'm down one. Okay. Yeah. If there's a lot of hate, like hate towards Living End, um, it turns into like a weird, sure, cast over cost of creatures, creatures yeah. <laughs> mid rangey dealios. Yeah. So there are actually a couple cards in here, a couple creatures that I would prefer to hit um, that have to go in the graveyard. Uh, that might be more advantageous against Crystal. Because when it starts, because OG Living End played like all the evoke creatures, right? Yeah. Like, um, I think got Chewer. I mean, they do for sideboard. Wise. Um, yeah. So yeah, you just kind of play whatever you need to to get your spell off. That's correct, it. Yeah. And like, there are when it starts turning into uh, with graveyard hate, it turns almost like a cat and mouse game where like, who's going to fire what off first and depending. Yeah. You're going first, right? Yep. You got it. Let's hope there's a little bit more interaction here. This is a little bit more interaction, but oh boy. Oh, the hand's good, but we need something. Okay, do we risk it for the biscuit? I think we risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, All right. I'm good. Surprisingly, uh, Living End's also very good at uh, Thoughtseize. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
we get rid of the Cascade spell. Yep. It's perfectly fine. And that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Now, well, as I was saying earlier, uh, Levian's pretty good at Mulligan, or don't have to, because they have a lot of cycling cards uh, that kind of act like a cantrip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got your yep. Wakers, yep. you got your Street Race. Yeah, you got exactly, it. yeah. Never hey. didn't have it. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Living End. Sure. Oh, okay, yeah, I see, I see, okay. Okay, awesome, yeah, I can do that. Thank uh, you. Let's play Ren and Six. Ren and Six, yeah. And I will return up to No Lands. Ren and Six is the card. Go ahead. Uh, is that textured? It's, it is textured. <laughs> it is textured. All right, in a turn, I'm going to crunch this. Yep. Oh, I have to take a damage from the peat land, too. Oh, yeah, peat land. All right, let's see what I need. Now, this might look a little funny, but... I'm going to pay to two. Sure. Now, the main reason is why I did that is if I... When I do cycle Street Wraith... If you do get if something... If I do draw something, I can cycle again to see. Yeah. Using Max and Mike you're not really right under any I'm pressure from this deck to get run over, right so... Exactly. Yeah, makes seeing sense. seeing those cards would be the best. Makes sense. Oh, would you like to go? Sure. Right. Yeah, I'm going to pay two to cycle. Yep. Mm, all right. Good. Oh, no, that was under your turn. Under your oh, turn. end of my turn. Okay, yeah. So drop a turn. Yep. You have so many cards there. I technically played zero cards, right? So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was on the draw. I played zero cards. Your thoughts, is So yeah, Hannah six. Liliana. Yep. That resolve. Yeah. All right, we're both gonna discard a card. All right. I'm gonna go with this. Riveteer's oh, charm. That? Riveteer's like charm. New spice. spice. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sweet, Go for yeah. it. Riveteer's Charm. Target opponent sacrifices a creature planeswalker they control with a highest mana value. Exile the tar oh, exile target player's graveyard? The third part is the most important. Oh, oh spicy. Me? Oh, Chris, yeah. How close do we need? Is that good? That's good. Okay. Awesome. All right. Okay, end of turn, I'm going to Waker. Yep. Oh, well, I'm doing this. Oh, yeah, there you go. Sorry, just thinking a little. No, yeah, no problem. Is the subtlety a bounce on creatures? I'm trying to no, it enters the battlefield, choose up to one target creature spell. Bell, creature spell. spell. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So It has to be on the stack, right? Yeah. 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 Untap. I'm going to take a look at the LT. Sure. Yeah. It gives things retrace. Ah, okay. Yes. Do you need something? Uh, I need access. Okay. <laughs> oh, on Tuesday, right? Maybe I'll stay. I'll, I'll see. Maybe I'll go Wednesday again. Yep. All right. Well, we'll save you. I mean, I guess I should have done that earlier. Uh, well, you could just freaking do this, but whatever, we're going to try. BB? Yep. Yeah, that results. Cascade? Yeah. Terminate. I will terminate no target creature. Okay. Nice. Uh, I'll swing for three. Response. Yeah. Violent numbers. Uh oh. So, the fun part is it's Cascade. Oh, that's an instant. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that way, because I was playing around, the main reason is uh, seeing what you uptick. Yeah, yeah. Now there was that option to do so when on your turn because yeah. you were tapped out, but I'm going to do that now. Yep. Uh, just for a, several reasons, because subtlety as well. Yeah. In, so. There you go. Yep. So living in. Yep. This goes bye bye. Mm -hmm. uh, so. I could have did it the other way, but like, 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 like so. Yep. We're gonna down take this. Sure. Uh, we have no lands in here. How do we keep you pressured? I don't think any of this helps. So I guess we'll uptick, uptick and that's a call threat, it a day. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. It is a threat. You have yeah. to deal with it. Have to so. deal with it sooner or later. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Combat. Yep. A Liliana. Have to, because if not, it's gonna make a sack. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I missed a little bit there, but that's okay. Go ahead. Um. Just let's go do this. It's only creature or planeswalker spell on the thing, right? Uh, pardon me for what on you your. Uh, yeah, choose up to one target creature spell or planeswalker spell. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I want the green or the black. Green or the black. All right, we'll go green. That's fine. Ooh, is that a John Avon unhinged <laughs> royal forest? It absolutely nice. is. That's a great card. That's a great art. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we could do this. Sack this draw. Uh, plus this. We'll get the peat land back. Mm -hmm. That's a great. And then I guess I will pass. End of turn. Oh, this part. Anything else? Nope. to decide how we're going to play this. You have four cards I don't know about. Four cards you don't know about, yep. Yeah. Oh, this is tricky. Because you have three, right? Yeah. So we try to keep the run. We retrace. Yeah, because the retrace is land, right? Instant yeah, you just pitch a land and then you can play yeah. instant and sorceries from. So then that way, the Riveteer charm just gets a little yeah. uh, dicey for me, and I just start playing like bad beatdown. <laughs> the problem is, if I deal with this, or if I can deal with this, then if you cascade into your next living end, I'm in even worse shape. But we're behind, so we need to do something. So. I'll make you exile your creature with the greatest. I am actually not forced to. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. I think that would, yeah, because I want to clear the four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Saw that one coming. Well, 
that's quite useful. Uh, Lily? Hopefully? One card, right? Yep, one more card in hand. up to one target spell, please water spell, put it on top of bottom. And we will put that on top. Yep. And then we will pass. I think that's that. No, that is definitely a lily and not a misty rainforest. It is, I promise, not a misty rainforest. Comment. Yep. Seven. Lily's coming up, one unknown. We're gonna draw another one. That's a P land. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. Uh, pass. So, it's pretty cherry charm number two. Your first one is already in the graveyard. This card is. Yeah. Try this again. Minus. You got it. And now we pray that we survive. Go ahead. Turn second. Yep. Not as good as old Lily Art. Yeah. But it's fine. I think I'm going to go for it here. I like the Kingsville being the. Yeah, I think I have to go for it there. I don't think I have any way to. Yeah, you're going to get a billion dudes. Very close, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll... Yeah, you got it. Yeah. There's nothing I can oh, do to... Lilies, yeah. Yeah, uh, I have another Lily, and, yeah. and I that's it. didn't play around the second Perfect Cherry Charm, which I was like, hmm. I, um, like, I was tempted to keep it, but you didn't really have anything going on, and then I'm also like, well, I'm going to sit here and... <laughs> like, I don't know, I needed to start no, I pressuring, yeah, and yeah, it was just like this weird perfect place perfect where... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I actually main board the Riveteer's Charms now. Interesting. You know, I think it's a, actually an interesting card. It's, uh, it's, it's really main board Graveyard Hate, which yeah. is nice. It has the Sack, mm -hmm. uh, which is still good against, like, Murktide. That's or, like, right, big, yeah. Big... Murktide, yeah, that's a very big one, right? Um, and then it can find you cards still late game, so... That's right, yeah. Uh, it's, like, something new and... No, it's good, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Endurance... It's, is it Endurance main board or sideboard? Sideboard. These are all... This, this is the sideboard. Yeah tech that we uh, that we brought in but uh, fill one uh, oh I do like the card that was oh, the sideboard tech that's uh, that's pretty <laughs> that's a pretty nice my friend if only the deck was as good as it looks mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, like, look, uh, what was it uh, who said who said it once was it Reed Duke Jun's a lifestyle <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. It's more just a matter of like I can't yeah. like I can't play something else. Like, no. playing John even when he's playing hard. Yeah, pretty much. Like it's it's you don't you don't you don't mess with it. You just you just leave it be. Yeah. Cause like, you can change a couple cards around and whatever, but uh, it it's not good enough to win anything anymore. But but it's fun. But it's fun. You get to play, like... At the end of the day, are you having fun? I am absolutely having fun. And my opponent is great, and... I, I do my best. You know. I do. I have very nice Tarmogoyfs. Have you seen these? You haven't seen these. Come here. I just got these. They're brand new. I lost in style. Much. He, never cast he did. I, no, I, I did cast Game one. Won. It died immediately. Oh. He went off on turn three, and turn I lost. Three. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, these are the only ones I decided in. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Because the, because the actual the other main creature uh, that is very good against I think your deck is this one, right? Has extra proof. Yeah. So only Lily. Only. Is more. Yeah, yeah. And maybe. Or I guess the Rotier is charmed now too. But like, if you have this out, you probably have like a few other things. Yeah. Out, but. All right. All Let's right. go to our. Who clicked the switch scenes? Nice. Go, go. All right. Well, the question was. The question was. Uh, what is the philosophy <laughs> behind Jund? And it is like one for ones or two for ones and having many options with your cards. So, 
Um, there's like five cards or more that have like three different options that you can choose from. Um, a lot of your cards offer immediate or future value off of whatever you're doing. Um, it's, it's the problem is when like you play against a combo deck like that, and on turn three on the play they just cascade into living end, and you're like, well, yeah, yeah. okay, I lose. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, like the cascade card that he used is that. I know, like, that was in Modern Horizons 2, but was it already legal in Modern, or no? Uh, I don't... Like, I know it got reprinted I don't think so. that's it. Yeah. But yeah. I think it just made the deck faster. Yeah, it's just like Modern Horizon 2. Gave it, like, an extra four of. Yeah, Modern Horizon 2 introduced all these cards that just, like, guarantee win turn three, and then they also introduced Force Negation, which is, like, the way to stop it. Yeah, so right there, like, Force stopped me every single time I had a chance to climb back into the game, and he also has subtleties as well, too, which are effectively forces again. Yeah. So, like, he's trying to combo, and then he can do it on turn three on the play, after I've played a two-drop and then um, the next game he just has like all of this backup to stop you from interacting it with it or whatever but there like that could have been a, that wasn't that far off from being a close game like that one was a little bit more reasonable so um, is, is, like his deck is like a like modern like like a current living end deck. yeah yeah so you thing. basically just cycle stuff into the bin and then you cascade into living end bring everything back from the graveyard put it on the field and, and that's a real archetype in modern it is right a now? real archetype yeah. Um, and we can see it again. <laughs> yeah, right? Living End versus 8-Whack. 